Hi everyone, this is Jennifer and I'm back today with a new layout for the HipKit Club Design Team. To make this page, I will be using the exclusive floral butterfly cut file from June 2021. After cutting out this cut file with my Silhouette Cameo, I will make a color gradient on the butterfly with Lindy's Magical Inks. So, I start by diluting the powders with water. I will be using Sweet Violet Purple Teal, Hydranger Blue and the Curiouser Chartreuse Inks. The yellow and the black, I wouldn't use it finally. So, I apply the purple ink from the center of the butterfly outwards. Then I apply the blue ink in succession in the center of the wing, always towards the side outside. Then to finish the green ink. I wanted to add yellow ink to the end of the wing, but finally I found it unnecessary, so I covered it with green. Then I add the blue ink again on the green to achieve a gradient of blue-green and I intensify the blue a little more by adding ink on it. Then I add the blue ink on the purple to achieve a guardian of blue purple. I add blue ink until I get the gradient I want and I intensify the purple area with the purple ink. Here is the gradient I get. This is one of the color gradients that I love to achieve. And I do the same of the other wing. I found this cut file to be really very beautiful and delicate. I didn't want to just fill the design with pattern papers. I really wanted to show it off in another way and you may know my love for inks and color gradients. So I decided to do what I love the most. You can achieve this gradient with different inks like uh, Distress Oxide for example. I chose Lindy's Magical inks because they are inks with shine effects and that's what I wanted for this project. So uh, for this kind of work with inks I use watercolor paper. I find it easier and since I use a lot of water uh, this paper holds up better. I also use absorbent paper under the butterfly so as not to find myself in a puddle of inks. And here is the end result. 
I love doing this and here was really the opportunity with this cut file. For my project, I cut this cut file four times, so I'm going to do this step four times. It took me a long time, but I loved doing it. I really, really love this gradient. So I continue and I will emboss the four butterflies. To start, I apply the Versamark watermark stamp pad all over the butterfly. Then I add the Ranger Clear embossing powder all over uh, and to make sure there is powder all over the butterfly, I pat the butterfly in the powder and I melt the powder with my heat gun. And here is the result. I love this varnish effect and it intensifies the colors. It's just superb. I do the same with the other three butterflies. And I put these butterflies aside for now and I continue with the background of my page. I cut a white cardstock with clear gesso and when everything is dry, I then apply glue on another butterfly to glue it in the center of my page and make a butterfly background. You know my love for this technique, maybe, but the rendering will be different that user. Mm, the butterflies are all around 8.5 by uh, 7 inches and they were all cut from watercolor paper. The butterflies is well glued. I coat it with clear gesso with the help of a large brush, making circular movements to distribute um, the coating well. I then add the same inks and do the same gradient at the butterflies. It's a little different because the butterfly here is full, but the technique remains the same. Visually, you will see the steps and color mixtures of this gradient a little better.
So I slightly exceed the inks on the edges of the butterfly for a um, blurred effect. I rectified the colors after having dried everything and uh, then I make the other side in the same way. When it's finished and very dry, I add splashes of white gesso diluted with water to bring light. Here is the result. I love this texture, the colors and the shine. So I continue and I take the four butterflies that I will glue two by two. You may have understood it. I'm going to make a sort of book or album in butterfly shape on a page which will allow me to insert six photos. This week our mission to the team is to include three photos and more in our projects. So I wanted to create something different with this cut file which is just beautiful and I wanted it to be the centerpiece of this page. I really enjoyed working with the inks too. So I'm going to assemble this sort of album now, let's say. I cut out two more butterflies to bring some light to this set. So I glue the butterflies on top of each other, alternating um, colors and whites. And here is this page in album or this album on page. I don't really know what to call it, but I really liked this very different idea.
So I will now prepare the photos, but before I needed a shape that allows me to add decoration near the photos once they are glued on the wings back to back and as the wings are empty, the front will have to match the back when I will turn the wings. So I drew this scalloped round cut from the Pink Fresh Studio paper from the June 2021 main kit. I'm reproducing several scalloped circles with the help of C6 die and my big chart with purple and green pattern papers from the Happy Bloomy collection by Pink Fresh Studio from the main kit. So I glue a white scalloped circle on a purple and green scalloped circle. So the reproduction is perfect and very fast. And I cut the edges. My decoration should not exceed this scalloped half round. The decoration will be very simple and identical for the six photos. So next to the photo there will be a scalloped half round. A Pink Fresh Studio or die cut stickers from the exclusive Delight Food collection by Kim and Kimberly. A square of pattern paper cut from the Pink Fresh Studio paper from the main kit, a small white flower die cut delightful also and the leaves cut from die cuts or pattern paper from the kit. I keep the color combo of the butterflies. I add crumpled tracing paper under the photos. So I glue each element with or without 3D form after having distressed the edges of the stickers, die cuts and cut squares. Here are the six decorating photos. I added uh, enameled dots and finish with clear stickers. A very simple and quick decoration so as not to overload the butterflies which are already very colorful with color. I will be able to glue the photos now. I think that in images my explanations will become clear with this story of front and back. 
I prefer not to add a photo on each wing so as not to overload the decoration and not to hide my work from the inks. I also thought that it would be nicer to have to turn the wings to see the photos. For the background photos, I add cardboard below to create volume and make the wings above take off a little. So I continue with the title. I use the white alphabet from the March 2021 kits which I will color with the same inks of the butterflies. To start, I coat the letters with clear gesso. Then I dry well and I add the inks while making the same gradient. Uh, I don't dilute the powders too much to have intense colors. I will give you a demonstration with the word every day from my title. I glue this word at the bottom of the butterflies on the left side and I then complete the title with the phrase you give me wings that I glue at the top of the butterflies on the right side. A little tip for a personalized alphabet. So I found the space around my butterfly album a little empty so I decided to add clouds that I created with the stencil of the June 21 color kit. So I trace clouds on a white cardstock and then I cut them out. With my fingers I blur the pencil marks on the edges to create a shadow effect to the cloud and then allow it to stand out a bit from the background. Then I distress the edges and I plait the clouds around my album butterflies. I didn't want to overload the page too much and the clouds just give the illusion that the butterflies is flying in the sky and that doesn't style for uh, the butterfly album which remains my centerpiece of this page. 
I glue the clouds with 3D form and insert the um, butterflies from the June kit into the clouds. I add splashes of white gesso diluted with water to bring light and harmonize everything. And finally, I add black ink splatters to spice up this layout. I make the splash forming a path. Very easy to make with two pieces of paper like here. And this little path of black drops really finish this layout, which was a bit too. Here is the end result. This is really what I wanted to achieve. Something very different and I loved making this album on page and above all I had a lot of fun working with the inks. So this video is very long but there were a lot of steps. Hope this layout has you more and gave you some ideas for a future project. I love doing this gradient that I love. Thanks for stopping by and watching all of these steps. I wish you a great week full of creativity. See you soon.